Boosh! Welcome back to another video. Me and Dave here, we've got to go to the tip from that stuff from yesterday that we didn't take because we didn't have time because it ran out. Um, got to look in some charity shops because why not? So much to do. And I always seem to find a bargain. I found them there. Uh, found the guy figures for a tennis on for 60, but Kez found that jacket for a tenner and it's going to be worth over 100 quid all day. So I've got to try and beat that. And then we've got to come back, we've got to wrap one, yeah, 66 games. That's not good. Um, well, so there, was, there was two other things. I think there was a plush and, I can't remember what the other one was. Oh, a Guitar Hero. That sold quick. But yeah, we'll get into that when we get to the shed. Right now, take this to the tip and then we're gonna hit the charity shop. So I'll see you in the tip. You thought it was, I was gonna be in the tip already, but I ain't, I'm still at home by himself, yeah. But I wonder if there's a tip shop. I'm gonna ask. So again, I'll see you at the tip. This guy is tipping a brand new pram. Or a good pram. So we left the skip or the tip, whatever you wanna call it, the junkyard, the shithole. We're now in another shithole, which is the town centre. I've got my IKEA bag, we're gonna go run. So we can get some stock build up for, we've already got eBay stock, like we've got loads of shit that's listed on eBay. So we're looking for vintage, and I don't want to do whatnot, but for quick turnover, if we find the right items, it's just a learning curve. So if we find like a bulk item, I don't know, we get like fucking 10 pairs of fucking Nike shoes for a quid, and we'll run them on whatnot. But until then, we're here, and let's go. What have we got here? I'm leaving. I'm walking straight out the door. What a bag of shit. The controls for a tenner each. Yeah, there's plenty more around these corners, eh? Get some bargains. One pound rail. What's only one pound rails a day? There's anything on there for me? If I miss anything, by the way, in the video, let me know. And I'll come back and tell you to grab it. Got nothing at the minute. Toy box. Oh, we check the toy box. Because you might get, like, oh, breast implants broke. Shame, that's Sally. There's nothing in here, is there? Two down, no pickups. On to shop number three. Number three. Come on, for fuck's sake, number four. Minkily. Riker. We're going to damage to the front, so I'll leave them in. We might find the first pickup of the day. Moses Castle. Is it all in working order? It's one of these workers of the button, isn't it? Like you press it. Frequent. Imagine that Bowser Castle. You're coming home with me. I swear that's that cat off that, um, is it? I don't know if it is. It talks like, yes. On that app on your phone, maybe. I might be wrong. Don't work anyway. Got a new dog game. Might work for about a tenner though. Did you only really two quid. That's been in stock all day. Wellies as well, size kids 12. On vintage, you easy get a five, ten quid for them. Do I get them? I don't know. So five and sold. If they're brand new, like 15 quid, but three hours, like six quid. We don't phone these things. Now these, a bundle with the other cars. Never ready for any of that. Mm -hmm. Just like that, we're back out. All closer a pound and that's Peeling a bit now, look. Ooh, 
I'm gonna let go for 12 quid, I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it like a biscuit. Right, two more to go, and then we're off home. Here we go. Ah, oh, there's a reseller lad in there for the people around Scrunny who knows him. He's a fucking goon, proper, proper goon. But he's got feet in every door going. Last week we found them, found the guys while he's here. If you can find some more. There's a house for me, isn't it? Polly Pocket. Right, so then all these ones down this end are crap. Uh, I did purchase that Lego from the other one, thinking, why, why ain't I got it on me? Because I asked him if I could leave it there until I come back up. Uh, it cost me 13 quid in the end, I don't know why, but here's what it is. We'll grab that, we'll go home. I also, at the till of the other one, I didn't record, I got Buzz and Woody for a fiver, and another guitar here of £2.50. Just got back and she's just told me she don't want Rex anymore. Free for the paid for him, it's fucking huge, as big as me. He's going to put him in the van. Put his ass there, look. Right, quick run through. We picked up these for two quid. I'm hoping to get a five from one vintage just to get the stock rolling. I once bought Alvi this before. Well, I bought it for this sell it, but the wind mirror was broken and it had the figures with it. So when I saw this little set with no figures, I thought if I buy it, because he doesn't play with the figures, only the car, I could put the figures together for, what was that, 350 I think, and maybe get like 20 or 30 quid for a little bundle. Fine and some stuff. It's even got portable ladders. We then got a Bowser's castle for three quid. You're never going to leave this behind for three quid. I've also got some little tiny figures that don't actually go with this, I don't think, but I could bundle them with this and get an absolute fortune from three quid at the bottom as well. Does work. Where was it there? Remember sending it out before, I think I got like 15 quid for this. And that was pushed down as so it kept going off and off and off in the shop. But bargain for three quid still. £2.50 each. Buzz has definitely been in the sun. But he'll still, he'll still sell shortly. Somebody will have that. £2.50 and I'll leave it here. To and on. So bargain. is also a Thinkways toy, which is a good one you want to look out for. I thought maybe it was a smoker's house, but by the looks it just means it's been out in the sun. Like one side of him, look. Oh, and don't forget we got his good old mate, Woody. Also £2.50. Does work. And he is Thinkways also. Hey guys, look, it's the real Buzz Lightyear. I am. And then literally, we sell these all the time and then just never found them anymore. <laughs> Within the space of two days, I found three of them. And this one was also 250. Easy profits, easy flips. And later on, I've sold both of them, so easy yeah. money. Time for hypersleep again. Buzz Lightyear, sign it off. He signs off, apparently. And then last but not least, she said 12 quid, but we ended up paying 13 quid. Or 14, 15, whatever the fuck it was. Because there's some guy in there. But it is what it is. It's got to be some profit in that. Has to be. I need a box for it, though. All right, so open the Lego. In this one, it looks like this has been sealed up. And it's a full set, so let's get it out. So I'm hoping that this is this. I've seen a little skin of spider-man but is that it is that all he has do i have to build it what i don't know is that his little it's a head of spider-man there well i've built spider-man i reckon that's complete you know but do i actually have to build the whole thing 10 to 15 quid just on this if it's all complete do i take the risk and just say it's complete or do i try and build it I don't know. Looks like it's all there. I'm gonna leave that in the bag, save it like that. Found some more books in there. There's an Iron Man book. Um, that's not Lego. And a police one. So I've got this bag and all that books in there. And just by looking in there, I think the Iron Man set could probably be in here. So, like I said, I've still got all that in there. First box has been tipped out. Let's go through it. That there looks like a Fortnite dude. I don't know why he's in there, but could be oats in here, could be all sorts. Right, so out of that first lot, I've got these little figures here and this weapon that I found. So even at car boot, I get 20 quid for that all day and I've still got all this to go now. Second lot, is that another police guy? I see some handcuffs. I see a police guy's arm as well. Put them to the side. Where are the handcuffs? 
there. You've got these two figures here that are no good because you've got no legs. Bike's got no bar. So all that is literally a ton of Legos. So. And then this is what we can go individually. Farmer dude, chef. One, two of them. A policeman and his mate, a robber, a lawyer. Rick Grand. Maybe, I don't know. And a scooter. Right, so after the last clip, it's time to have a little break from reality. A little break from making the videos working as they call it. And play some Fortnite. And then when that's done and we're on Fortnite, after that, I've got to somehow use whatever's left in here, whatever boxes I can manage to get, to send out nine eBay orders from today. Over 200 quid. Just on eBay. Bargains. I'd love to do it. But it just gets busy, and if you forget, if you miss a window, like they all need to be sent out tomorrow. And we've got that pallet coming tomorrow as well. So that should be tomorrow's video. If the guy is truthful, I can track it. He said, I can't remember to do it though. So he's never lied to me before, so fair play to him. Pallet is coming tomorrow. That's tomorrow's video. We ain't going to no car boot. We're saving money. We're on a buying ban. You know, we're not. We never run a buying one, but we're not to carry it, we're off to do the pallet video. So yeah, got me sucker skin, and here we go. Don't know why it was dark on that then. Literally just it's a bit late. <coughs> Finished Fortnite a bit late, but I need a big box for some of the orders. Two of these two have sold as well, so I need to pick them up if I can grab them. The rest of this stuff sold. It's getting dark. Right, we're gonna run through what's sold in a second. I just need to pop in here. That space now. We can sort this side out and we can start having some more storage. Probably not, she'll kill me, but it's looking much better. Still, that box there, we need to get through. Get some, uh, oh, that's all the bits and bobs. It's car boot stock. The wee board in there, sealed. Well, so much else underneath. I think there's two wee boards in there, to be fair. All car boot stock, fly out. And yes, I am going to be selling a car boot very soon. A lot of stuff. I would put it on whatnot, but yeah, ridiculous. Might I do another whatnot stream and get rid of some old toys. Toys seem to do quite well on there. So I might do a toy one or a plushies. I could do with doing a plushies one. If anyone's interested in some plush, I might do one. Let me know in the comments anyway. All right, let's just run through as quick as we can because we are really busy, 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 busy. So picked up these two guitar heroes yesterday. Mrs. saw him in a charity shop said, oh, you can sell these. So I went for it. This one comes with a game, but I've left it in the shed like a twat, so I have to go back and get it. But that one sold for $29.95. And this one sold for 20 quid on offer. So we paid 20 quid yesterday, and we made 49 95 So after fees and postage, we doled our money easily. Happy days on that, and I like it when it's quick like that. In and out. Um, as well, on Sunday, we picked up this Mario Lego set for two quid. It had been open, but when I went through it all, it was all still in there. Uh, just the bags had been open, so I replaced the bags with little sandwich bags, listed it as fully complete, been opened. Put it up for 29 95 someone offered me 20 quid. Like I say, I paid two pound for it. I took it straight away, snapped the hand off. Um, pair of Crocs, I've had these quite a long time. I did pay two pound for these, because I remember I had two pairs. I think Chris bought one off me. So if you're watching, cheers, Chris, back in the day. And these are the other pair. Uh, and they've sold for, I think they offered me 10 pound and I counted it with 12.95 and they bought them plus the post. So it was easy money. 9.95 for an M&M plush that cost me 50p. Another 50p sale that sold for seven pound 50, but I only got it the other day. Um, this come out of an auction bundle of toys. I've had this listed ages and ages and ages. Listed it as not complete, because I don't think it is. And somebody offered me a tenner. I took it because it doesn't owe me anything because the bundle I've already sold a lot of stuff out of it. And then out of that gaming bundle, I took all the good games that was worth any sort of money out. This Wallace and Gromit one, which somehow I sell Wallace and Gromit stuff all the time. That sold for, I believe, for $4.99 plus the shipping. Um, then there's all them games downstairs, so I listed, I took all the, when I got the gaming bundle, if you remember the video, 50 quid, uh, there's still 
a Nintendo 64, whatever it's called, an Xbox 360, a Wii bundle with loads of stuff in. I've sold a controller, a Wii, well, a Wii controller, a nunchuck, a steering wheel for like over 20 quid. Um, the games I put, oh, Simpsons Hit and Run sold out of it. That was a tenner. That's already like 40 quid there and I paid 50 quid for it all. And then last night, just the games that weren't worth anything, because I took all the good ones out, they sold, Sunday night, sorry, they sold on auction for 75 quid all in. So I think it was like 69 quid plus six, five ninety nine postage. So I have to send them for over here. But there's 60 odd games to put in one box, which is going to be a nightmare. Plus them Guitar Heroes, plus the rest of this crap. So I'm going to get doing that now. I've got this massive crisp box, which I'm hoping all the games will fit in there. I have to wrap them properly, make sure they don't slide around and smash everywhere. But that is going to be me, guys. Tomorrow, hopefully, that pallet will be here. Uh, if not, then I'm obviously going to miss talks. You're waiting for this pallet. So if not, we'll figure something out. But it should be here tomorrow. So anyway, make sure you leave a like, guys. Subscribe if you're new. And again, if you see anything in the video you want, drop me a message on Instagram. Kaji underscore reselling. And peace.